Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be playing a subscriber, uh, one of my long time, uh, most, most loyal subscribers, Daniel. Uh, so it's our second subscriber battle of the day. And Daniel's losing connection already. But we get a nice solid position in, so in a bullet match. I don't think we've got increment here, have we? No, yeah, no, one second increment, I believe. Uh, okay, that's a nice little fork, isn't it? Uh, oh, by the way, guys, my first 200 subscribers are going to get... They're going to get something. <laughs> Subscribe. I'm not sure what. Um, maybe like in Discord. We've got a free Discord, by the way, link in description. Maybe like a, a Discord badge or something like that, but hopefully something a bit better than that. I'm not quite sure. Uh, so we, we're fine here. Are we even on material? I swear we won a piece. <laughs> maybe not. Stop and castling, maybe? Uh, I think we just keep our king in the center, you know. Go for a big attack. Okay, well, you're not castling. All right, maybe we double the double the rook or the rook and a queen here. Yeah. Just just go full brute force. It's always good, guys, in in fast time controls to just go brute force. It's just the easiest, like it's just the easiest thing to do. Create a simple plan and just follow it. You know. We're just going to triple stack here. And Daniel, uh, yeah, I don't know what what he's going to do. Uh, now we just close things off. Maybe this is coming. But now this. Okay. Because now that we just win a rook here. Our king is in the center and he is opening up the center, which strategically is the right thing to be thinking. But uh, yeah, no, Daniel's timed out there. But well played. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Best of five. Uh, rematch is. Uh, how do you rematch, guys? <laughs> I have played chess before, honestly. Uh, there we go. Rematch. Thing is, last time I did this, it messed it up and it put me through with a random player. If you saw my video early today on the uh, on the nineteenth of Feb. Okay, so against this, this is the key move. Preparing to hit this bishop. Everything else I tend to go for a, no a more normal Sicilian setup with the these two pawns on these red squares here. But yeah, this just gives us a nice little tempo as black, which is what we need. So now, as black, we're more developed than white. Is uh, no mean feat. <laughs> That's a bit annoying. Uh, I'd normally describe that move as petulant in a game, but uh, seeing as I'm against one of my favourite subscribers, I wouldn't use that term. Uh, so maybe just develop this, maybe Fianchetto, something like that. Uh, wow, Daniel loves to like just charge at me with open, undefended pieces. And actually, last game he did, he did get some good trades on the board and managed to stay ahead on... Oh, even on material. But generally, this sort of thing is bad. But he's done, a, he's done a really good thing there, which Daniel noticed he had an undefended piece, and then he's decided to reinforce it with a pawn, which is great thinking. Yeah, they can maybe push a pawn. But then... Yeah, I think pawn push is good. But they normally say this is a weakening move, because it weakens this diagonal. But uh, the reason I wanted to take a gamble and play this is because this pawn push is pretty strong against the knight. Wow. All right, so it's hitting our queen. Maybe something like this. Is okay. Daniel playing moves which are too good for bullet, to be honest. Oh, <laughs> yeah, and he's getting low on time now and making a couple of mistakes. So now we can get this move in. Uh, looks okay. He'll grab that. He's just pre-moving now, trying to get quick with us. Uh, uh, this okay? 
think so. Oh no! King and Queen on the same file. Disgusting. But da luckily, Daniel didn't have any time. But we uh, we completely messed up there. This is a vulnerable square. I just want to get rid of this this knight. It's such a threat. Ah, okay, we'll happily take that. Uh, maybe here. Wow. So Daniel a bit low on time there at the end and really putting us under pressure, but yeah, playing some really good moves in them first, like 40 seconds of his time, like quite like interesting, interesting moves actually. But a couple of moves, the only thing I'd say to Daniel, a couple of moves which are a bit overextending, you know, leaving an undefended piece. And as I like to say, undefended pieces are a magnet for tactics. So take uh, maybe we'll just castle. Daniel's a little bit far away from castling, so get a rook in the center and then try and break in the center before they've got time to castle. And add a bit of defense to this pawn. Okay, so yeah, no, everything's held together, okay. We're going to put a bit of pressure here. So now if we take, they're going to have to double their pawns. Uh, uh, this I think is fine. Maybe threatening this. Okay, so we're still winning a pawn here, I think. Uh, yeah, it's just about okay. We've got to be careful though. Once this rook comes, this could be scary, especially with this and this. Uh, wait, can't we just grab that though? Yeah. And wherever the king moves, we can check him again. So if the king goes here, we check and win the queen. Yeah. GG, Daniel. Is that three? One more, one more. Okay, the finale. Let's get a Scandi on the board. I've not played th these positions very often, so... I'm not sure what I'm doing with, with the Scandi, get the queen out. I'm actually relieved that <laughs> Daniel didn't accept. As uh, playing with the queen out in the middle of nowhere in a in a uh, a one minute game is a scary thing to do. So there's this, but they can block with a bishop. Uh, I'm just noting this this diagonal is open, so maybe a move like that. Try and hmm. You know, I'd love to get in this square. <laughs> anyway, we're thinking too much. Let's just develop. Okay. Uh, let's just take keep the tempo we're a little bit behind on the clock there guys so we've got to be careful the finale uh, okay <laughs> I'll grab that don't think there's any strings attached to that move uh, and then we're just going to try and develop so I mean we're winning so I'm happy to accept the queen trade but now we're going to be in a 10 spot because we can't mate Daniel anymore we're going to have to see this game through to an end game. See what we can do. This this knight coming here looks annoying. Uh, try and get that moving. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, but then that. No, nah, it didn't win the, the bishop. The bishop's defended. We're okay. So we've got a weird pawn structure. Daniel's uh, just trying to trying to time us out, I think. Giving away a few pieces in the pursuit of the attack. Um, GG. I had a warm-up earlier. Looking forward to the tournament tomorrow. Okay, guys. Uh, yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow for the first tournament. And uh, I think Daniel meant to put KK. <laughs> GG. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Subscribe.